Hello again on the Electronic King channel. My name is Mikey and today I am going to talk about how to move files on Mac. I've been a Windows user for a long time and I remember the Ctrl plus X and Ctrl plus V commands for moving files very well. However, I was surprised to find out that they work a little differently on Mac compared to Windows. You can't simply cut and paste files. Instead, you still need to copy the file. But to move it, you should use Command plus Option plus V. Also, I can open two Finder windows with different folders and simply drag and drop files between them and they will move. Or I can hold down a file and hover over the navigation buttons to move it to the desired folder. By the way, in case you haven't noticed, Finder has only one main window and tabs, so you cannot see what's inside until you switch. Of course, you can open multiple windows, but they'll be scattered around. Plus, they often have different sorting and appearance. I find this very annoying and distracting, especially when files get lost due to the lack of sorting in the folder. That's why I've started looking for an alternative file manager and found Commander One. I will already install it from the developer's website. You can find a link in the description below the video. After launching the app, you will see the classic two-panel interface. It's especially useful when connecting external drives. They are displayed in the top panel, allowing you to know exactly where they are opened. Here you can also see cloud storage services without installing additional programs from the owners of these services. And here you can see how I move files between folders. Do you want me to surprise you with a killer feature? Let's take a look. I have a folder in Finder with two archives. Let's see what's inside them. I have two folders with picture of dogs and cats here on my screen. As you can see, there is a photo with a dog in a folder with photos of cats. Let's move it to the correct folder. And now I'm going to compress the photos back into the archives and delete the old ones. What a convenient, isn't it? And now I'm going to do the same using Commander One. I just open these two archives. On the left, I have an archive with cats, and on the right, the one with dogs. Then, I simply drag the photo of the dog to the archive with dogs, and that's it. I don't need to archive anything again. So this approach helps a lot with how to move files on Mac desktop. I can do the same, for example, with an archive on Google Drive. You can watch a video about this at the following link. And I would also like to mention that Commander One has a very cool search that works in folders, archives, and even in cloud storage. So try Commander One and appreciate its benefits. And if you like discounts, the developers are giving you a special discount coupon. Subscribe to our channel and see you soon.